Trying to outrank your competitor is not an easy task, especially when you're just looking at who's ranking at what number. The idea is to actually analyze what content is helping them rank so you can improve it. For this, I'm going to show you Riboflow AI. So let's jump over to my desktop right now. It's time to check out Riboflow, and this one is made by the same guys as SpyFu. So trust me, they know how to rank, all right? So check out the link in the description. It's gonna take you over here, and yes, you can go ahead and try it out for free right now. And what it's going to do is going to analyze your competitors, but not just about who is ranking and what number. It's going to actually make a comparison of what is helping them rank so you can improve it on your actual website so you can obviously outrank them, right? So this is Rival Flow AI, and let me go ahead and jump over to my actual test right here. And I've added my main site because I'm starting to use this to help me rank my listings. So I have a website where I list the deals. I'm an affiliate and I want to actually rank better than them. So in return, I can make more affiliate sales. So adding a website is super easy to do so. So getting started, there's no coding. There's no anything fancy about it. It's super easy to get started. So go to a website and add your website right here. If you're just starting out, you're going to start by adding your website in the beginning. But in this case, I'm going to add one of my websites, which is sasm.co. I'm going to hit next. It's going to ask me, where do I want to actually do the performance ranking? In this case, it's going to be google.com, which is the main one because it's an English site. But if it's somewhere else, just go ahead and select your Google country. All right. So it's google.com. Let's hit next. It's going to analyze the competitors and it says there's 353 websites that are going to be compared to. So let me go ahead and select it right there. And I can go through these and say, you know what? I don't care about certain type of competitors right here just some of them. So I can go ahead and remove them if I like and keep the ones that I do want to use or just leave them all by default. Okay. And I can add my own competitors if I know I'm directly competing with them and I don't find them right here. So it's pretty, pretty easy and straightforward to use this. Okay. We can go a little, little more. It's pretty easy and straightforward to use this. Now, once that's set, let's go ahead next and it's going to do its first run up. So let's go ahead and get started. And it's going to do its analyzation here. So let's give it a few minutes to jump on this. There we go. It just finished. So it's super easy to get started. Now, one of the things I do recommend before you jump into generating this project is going into campaign settings because you want to add links that are well, actually folders that are where your deals are, your blog posts, etc. If they are not in the main blog section, OK? So you can include, for example, the folder where your blog is, for example, in this site. Maybe I want to go into the deal list and add that section right there. OK, so I can do so by adding them right here. And that's one of the things I would recommend you do first. OK, you can also exclude URLs and add competitors from here if you want to do it afterwards from the first load. And once that's done, let's get into the actual magic. Like I said, there's several of these content pieces that are going to be added constantly. In this case, I've got the first results, but it's still working in the back end, analyzing my pages with competitors and telling me what I should look out for or improve on my site. So, for example, I don't know, I'm going to open this one. This is the competitor stack social and this is my site. I'm ranking 84 and they're ranking number one. Why? Because they are the ones that's actually selling it. But it's a quick example there. OK, so let's go ahead and generate the project. OK, so it's now ready and I can go ahead and view the project. I can mark it as complete or I can view more actions if I want to choose a different competitor for this specific page on my site. I can remove it, never show recommendations for this page or snooze this recommendation for three weeks. Let's go ahead and view this project. I mean, it's not a fair uh, comparison because these guys are the ones who are actually selling that deal. So it's kind of hard to beat them at this. OK. But I'm going to get some results of what they are doing. For example, questions they answer that you don't. So they are answering one question that they believe is important for me to help me rank. That's one of the a lot of things that I have to do to improve my site to rank better. OK, so I'm going to get my first suggestions. For example, here's a new, more thought out answer you can add to your article. So here's my AI generated content, which was done automatically by Rival Flow, which is giving me the content that I should be adding to my website that they have that is actually helping them rank. And here's how they answer this question. So it's similar, but it has more information in the AI generated one. So you can see it's a little bit more structured and well thought out than what they have. So in return, 
this is going to help me rank if I add that. So that's one of the suggestions. Then here's another one. Questions they answer more truly than you do. OK, so these are questions that are are found on both pages, but they do it better. OK, so here's the first one. How they how their answer is more thorough than, than yours. OK, so here it is. How their answer is more thorough than, than yours. And here is tell me why and then how you can improve your content to outrank them. Again, I got my AI suggestion really quickly right here with their help. So I like what they are doing because it's grabbing part of what they wrote, what they know about the deal and generating this. So it's even better than what they have or what I have already. I can go ahead and generate content. Here it is. I can go ahead and copy to clipboard and add that to my site. OK, then here's the next one. So how does Dragonfly Website Builder simplify the process of building custom websites? And again, we got the information here, how they answer versus how you do. So theirs and mine. OK, how their answer is more thorough than yours, how you can improve it. And again, I got the content and the questions we both answered. So in this case, there's just one that we both answer. But if it's several ones, we're going to find them right here, which is pretty cool, right? Now, that's for one of these sections. I can go ahead and preview this, how it looks on my site, which is not really appealing and how it looks on their site. So a quick view of that and the pages plus the word count 233 word count. And this one is 433. Now, one of the interesting things about rival flow, it's that it's not just about word count. It's about how you actually work with the content. Like it says, it's answering questions that people actually want to see when they open up this specific page for that deal. OK, let's go into recommended projects again, and we're going to find more available right here. So, for example, let's choose uh, this one right here. So shop by integrations, probably connect the ranking for I'm ranking 78. And again, I can go ahead and generate the project and go through the process of seeing what they are doing better than me so I can improve my content. So let's do a quick view of this one. OK, here we go. Now I can go ahead and view the project for this specific one. Remember, this is mine and this is theirs. And here's the results. So questions they answer that you don't. There's five of them, which is things that I should be working on. For example, it's this one. And again, I can go ahead and view this AI generated content, how they answer this question and how I can make this better. What is the main function of noisy product, etc.? And here it is and how they answered. So I can go ahead and use this one so I can improve my content. OK, next we have is custom projects. So I can go ahead and select one of the projects that I'm looking specifically from one of the deals that I have posted. Now, the recommended ones is the ones that you have a quick view right here that you can work on. And the custom projects is the ones that you manually select. You can go ahead and use the URL or use the keyword. So it's easier when you're trying to look, for example, older content that's not recent or content that you are specifically want to improve. Go ahead and put the URL here from that website and you are good to go. You want to you can go ahead and select it. For example, this one, which is wise cut video. And again, these guys are the ones who launched the deal. So this was a pretty bad ranking one. Now, this is not one of my main sites, and that's why I have pretty bad ranking there. But you get the idea. So in this case, I can go ahead and accept the recommendation and go through the uh, process of improving this content or I can change the competitor. Maybe someone else is talking about that specific product and I want to compare it to that person, not to these guys. And you do it by changing the competitor. Then you got your completed projects. Once you start working on these, you mark them as complete. You can view them right here, which is a really great way to view how you are actually improving your ranking. So go ahead and complete the projects and then go ahead and view them right here. And then for the campaign settings, like I said, this is where you add your the campaign name. You can delete the campaign in case you want to add another website, the action stream filter. You can add your path folders, your subdomains. So in this case, if I've added sasm.co, maybe I have a subdomain that's, I don't know, wp.sasm.co or maybe deals.sasm.co. Go ahead and add it right here and you have the option to include or exclude. And then you have excluded URLs in case you want to unexclude them right here. And then the competitors, like I mentioned before, if you want to add or remove them. So I think it's a pretty awesome way to improve your content because it's not just about a domain age or how it looks. It's actually about the content that they have that you don't have. And people are actually looking for that answer. And like I said, this one is Rival Flow by SpyFu. 
If you want to check it out and start a free trial, go ahead and jump over to the link in the description. And that's a wrap.